everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Linux Guy. Today I'm going to be talking about how to install a .deb file in a terminal and also mention a few other ways to install them. So if you're on a Debian-based Linux distribution, you're not going to be a stranger to .deb files, although thanks to app images, they're becoming less common. You're still going to run into them, and you're still probably going to want to know how to install them. Now, most people may decide to just double-click them and find out what happens. Well, let's do that. Let's double-click it and see what happens. So I'm on Pop! OS, and it opens my .deb file with Eddie. And installing it is actually really easy. I just click install, type in my password, and go. I'm not going to do that because I'm going to show you how to do it from the terminal. But if I wanted to install this, that actually would work. This is probably the way I'd recommend most of you to install stuff. However, occasionally it will fail, or maybe sometimes you need to install software from a command line because you're on maybe a server where you don't actually have access to a GUI. No matter, you can do it from here pretty easily. So what you want to do is you want to open your terminal and you want to do sudo dpkg-i, which is for stands for install. dpkg stands for Debian package. And of course sudo is our super user do. It's allowing us to elevate the privileges. And then finally you want to just type in the name of the file. By the way, if you're wondering how I type that so fast, I type the fl and then I hit tab and then the terminal knows what the rest of the file name is because there's only one file that begins with fl in here. Learn this in the terminal, it will make your use of the terminal much, much faster. Alright, so let's go ahead and install this. And you will see we got an error. I actually expected this to be an error, as it wasn't actually an older build of this Flowblade program, which is a video editor for Linux that's now on version 2.2 at the time of recording this video. Okay, well, Flowblade won't work with errors, will it? So what do we do? So this is the crucial part that you might have to do a lot. On your Ubuntu-based distributions, it's going to be sudo apt install hyphen f. Now this installs all of those missing dependencies, and you'll see we have several. There's 201 megabytes worth, so let's go ahead and install those. Okay, so our dependencies are now installed, so we should be able to find Flowblade. There it is. I'm not going to go ahead and open this, because really the instruction was to teach you how to do this, but but this is basically the steps. You go ahead and install the dpkg with this sudo dpkg-i and then the file name. And once you get an error, if you get an error, you'll proceed to the next step with sudo apt install hyphen f. Now this is for the Debian based distributions. This won't affect you Arch users. This won't affect you Fedora users. There are similar functions, however, for RPMs and Fedora. And for you Arch users, why don't you try out some AURs? Those are going to get you the ability to install from a repo, but it'll compile it for you. And for all you Debian-based distribution users like myself who value that stability, this is how you install a .deb file. As always, thank you for watching The Linux Guy. Please find us on Library. Send us a tip over there if you feel so inclined. Make sure to check out that platform. It's pretty cool and up and coming. And we will see you in the next one. <laughs>